Did you ever think of doing a boa out of pom-poms? I did, and look what I created. This is 21 four-inch pom-poms with a couple of tassels on the ends made with this fabulous, glorious, wool yarn. Isn't this something that you would just see on the fashion runway? And I created it in like an hour to an hour and a half. So it's not only gorgeous, it's easy and it's fast to do. So let me show you how I did it. I just took my patty whack pom-pom tool and I made all the pom-poms at one time and I just kind of watched TV at the same time and had a fun time doing both things at once. Then the first thing you need to do is to decide how long you want your boa. So take your piece of yarn and put it around your neck and then just kind of measure it. And if you want it to go down to your waist, then that is where you want to cut off your yarn piece. So this is kind of what you're going to use to measure as you go. We're going to lay it over here in the front and then we're going to create a pom-pom. Now, this is the yarn that I used before, and it's all kind of lumpy and funky, and it, that's why it looks like it does. But the one I'm gonna use now, since you know how that is going to turn out, I'm gonna use this yarn and sh show you another look. Now, this time I'm gonna use the three inch, so I'm gonna count one, two, three inches up on my pom-pom maker, and I'm just gonna hold it and hold the yarn at the same time. You can tape this if you like, but you know what? I never do because I get, I'm in too, too much of a hurry. So you know that you can see what your pom-pom is going to turn out to look like because it's clear. You can see right through it. And just keep building that pom-pom until it's as large as you want. Then stop. Now after you've done one, you know, you can count if you'd like and that way you have all of your pom-poms the same size. I know on this large one, I went around my pom-pom tool 50 times. And on the, lar on the smaller one, I know that I'm going around it around 25 times. And if you lose count, you know it's no big deal. You can pretty much eyeball it and know exactly how it's gonna turn out. Now I'm gonna use this wire to hold this because I want it to be really sturdy and I'm just gonna tighten that slightly because I can go back and tighten it later on. And this is a 24 gauge wire and it's non-tarnishing silver and that's important. You sure don't want it to tarnish later. Now I'm just going to go in to the inside of this loop and cut on one side and I'm gonna flip it over and cut the other side. And I found out that the little short nose scissors work the best for this. Now, flip it back over and pull that little pom-pom out. And I'm just going to pull all of my fibers or my yarn down into my hand so that I can pull that wire up there. And I'm going to give it another couple of twists. Now, I don't want it to pop, but I do want it to tighten a little bit more. So I'm going to give it a couple more twists and she's done. Now I can clip off those long pieces and take these pliers and turn those wires right into the center of the pom-pom. That's really important because you sure don't want that to snag your neck later on. Now take that pom-pom and open it back up and bring that yarn that you measured out before and you're going to tie it on. Now I have already been busy and I have one started here that I put one pom-pom on and I left a little bit of yarn at the bottom so I can use that yarn to tie on my tassel. Now, let me get it over here so you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to leave about an inch and a half to two inches between the pom-poms and I'm just going to wrap this around and I know it's hard for you to see but you can pretty much understand what I'm doing. I'm just going to tie that long yarn around the pom-pom just like that. Now I've got two pom-poms in a row and I'll just keep doing that till it's nice and full and I have a good long piece as long as the yarn that I measured around my neck. Now I'm going to add my tassel and this one is, let's measure, one, let's see, two, three, four, it's a five inch tassel. Create that on your fan tassel and then you're ready to add it to the end of your boa. 
Now, reach over here to the end of your boa after you've created about, oh, 20 or so pom-poms, and we're going to just attach it. We're going to tie these little guys all together, just like this. Tie it one more time because we want a good, nice knot. You don't want to lose your tassel on the dance floor now, do you? <laughs> Trim those so that they're the same length as the pom-poms, and look how cute. That is just going to be an adorable boa. And then you've got to just put it one on. Let me see what this looks like when I put it on. This would be a gorgeous winter time or Christmas time gift for someone. There you go, darling. A pom-pom boa.